Hello folks, Killface of Baylor here. Um, my apologies for the, the mess of facial hair and also for the very strange angle. Um, I was getting ready to shave and thought I would uh, give you a bit of insight on something that's a little less popular nowadays. Um, I'm not necessarily an expert as of most of the things that I do, but uh, it seemed interesting and I thought a few people might like it. So, what we're talking about today is shaving with a straight razor, right? And like I said, no expert. Um, but a couple of tips, first of all, if you want to get into this, do a little bit of research. Don't just go pick up the first one you can find. Most of them that look like straight razors do not come shave ready and you will tear up your face trying to do this. Um, facial hair, by and large, is much more difficult to trim than, say, the arm hair that you see people using to test pocket knives or something like that. Um, so, but I'm just going to give a little bit of a quick overview. Okay, so uh, a couple of things. Straight razor opens all the way up to there. Right. Then we're going to go thumb, two fingers, one finger. Here's the sort of grip that you want. Right now, the secret you need someone else to sharpen it. Really, it's it's a big deal to try and sharpen these. I don't recommend trying to start. But the big thing you need is a piece of leather, a strop. You want a cheaper strop. Um, I got my supplies from whippeddog.com, which was significantly cheaper than most of the other places. Um, he buys old razors in bulk and things like that and um, sells basically totally usable uh, razors that may have, you know, some blemishes, be sort of old, that kind of thing. And um, you're going to lay the blade flat. It's much thicker on the spine, much thinner up near the edge. Do not feel the edge with your fingers, but uh, you're gonna lay the blade flat and kind of drag it backwards, like so. For those of you that are actually good at this and are critiquing me, I already said that I'm not good at this, so sorry. All right, so anyway, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do about 40 passes back and forth, and really, it should be one up, one down two, three, and you'll notice I'm rolling over on the spine and not on the uh, on the edge of the blade there, on the thick part. So I can rub on the thick part all I want. If I roll over on the edge and push forward, I'm going to damage my edge a little bit. This is a very, very fine edge. So I did that twice because the first one was garbage and I missed the uh, strop with the edge entirely. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch 40 passes. I've done some already. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to close this. It is relatively well oiled and needs to be kept relatively well oiled because it's not a very stainless sort of steel. We're going to turn on the water and let it get very hot. I hope it doesn't drown me out. Now, because I have the mustache and I don't want to lose it, uh, let's, see. let's use this one here. I'm going to take some wax. And I'm going to put the mustache into the position that I want it to be already. Hmm, that's going to take a little while to warm up. I'm going to thoroughly wax the mustache so that it stays where I want it, so I can shave around it. If it's not styled to start with, I run the risk of shaving pieces of it that I don't necessarily want to shave. Now, I've been doing the uh, waxing the mustache for a little while now. So I'm moving relatively quickly compared to what I would have done when I first started. If you're first starting to grow the mustache, be very gentle, very careful with it. The hairs are um, quite delicate, especially if they're wet. So I'm actually doing this dry for the moment. And I'm going to pull it back so I can see what's back behind it to shave once the razor starts getting involved. And I don't need to get it perfect, but I do need to get all of the hair that I want to keep waxed into the mustache, right? And I'm not going to probably take you through the whole shave as this is a very time consuming process and there's a good chance that I'll finish up with a double edge safety razor, which I will cover in a later video and possibly on my other channel. So anyway, um, all of that uh, aside, one of the big reasons to shave like this is because it's cheap. You don't ever have to replace your razor or your blades. That razor is very likely older than I am. 
So we're going to just lather up the face the same way one normally would. A lot of people will be using fancy uh, shave soaps that need to be mixed into uh, a lather first, and you, you sit around mixing it for a couple of minutes. Uh, but having tried that myself, the conclusion I came to was, ain't nobody got time for that! So, um, yeah, I started using just a generic uh, shaving foam. This Dollar Shave Club um, butter that I'm using, I actually got for free from someone who accidentally subscribed to the Dollar Shave Club. I would not subscribe to them simply because it's much more expensive than the other couple of methods that I use. Okay, now, the water is hot. Good. I want this water just about as hot as I can get it. Now, as you can see, I don't want to leave my hands in this for very long. It's painfully hot. Um, you're going to get the razor wet, but be a little bit careful, uh, partially so that you don't slip, obviously, and partially um, be careful to... Oil the razor when you're done. So now, the secret is, if I just take this and start carving away at my face, right, I, I run the risk of cutting myself. The secret is to get the skin tight, so I'm going to pull against it. And also, uh, the cheeks are a little bit easier to shave, right, even if I don't pull against this. Nice and slowly. I can start to get a decent shave without too much trouble. All right, get a lot of nice hot water on there. Um, and I want to get some of this shaving cream off my hands. So, pull against it. If you're considering this, uh, many people use a double-edged safety razor first. Uh, that's still that's still well advised. Uh, if you can successfully uh, shave across the cheeks, you can start to go down to other places. Here you'll see I'm shaving down towards my neck and it looks scary. The big thing here is this is very sharp. So the amount of pressure that I'm using is pretty much non-existent. I cannot feel this edge because I'll damage it because it's so thin. So I need to use almost no pressure. And I'm only going to get a few hairs that way, but that's okay, right? I just need to be able to take my time. You'll notice several passes over the same area. Very slow reduction. And one of the things that they talk about uh, with learning these type of shaves is an idea called uh, where they, when they go with and then across and then against the grain. So uh, the hair on this side tends to grow down, so I might go down first. And then once that's done, if it's still not working, I go across the grain and finally I go against the grain, and against the grain I feel a little bit odd um, holding at that particular angle, so I go with the, with the spine up against my face, and then I turn the razor until I can index against my face. Like so. So anyway, that's a little bit of a peek. Um, as far as shaving around the mustache, we'll uh, hit that for a second. So I'm going to take this side that I've waxed into place. It makes it nice and easy to grab. And I've just pulled it back out of my way. And that would be true even if I was using a traditional five-bladed razor, which I have no idea why anyone does that. It's ridiculous. Or, if I would be using what I believe is the best method for the general populace, the double-edged safety razor. 
Uh, I'll show you how that works in a second. Or if I'm using something like this. Now, in this particular case, um, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch this whole thing. Uh, you know, watch me do this whole process. So we'll be done here in a second. But I do at least want to briefly cover what the double-edged safety razor is. Now, you'll notice I put this back on before I set the uh, razor down. The reason for that is it protects my blade. Right? For those of you worried about rust and all that, like I said, I will make sure to clean and oil this when I'm done. The double-edged safety razor, just so you get kind of a look at it, right, has a top and bottom piece, um, and then your blade, rather than being the top piece like it is now, your blade looks like this. I order a hundred pack of blades. For that particular pack, it cost me about six dollars and fifty cents or so. Um, and the razor itself, the double-edged safety razor, cost me $17, I believe. Um, and this pack, even if I were to use a new blade every time I shaved, would still last for several months, making it cheaper even than the Dollar Shave Club by a significant margin. And then I'm going to take this and put it on top. And I'll end up with basically a traditional razor, right? Works just the same. As a traditional razor. So anyway, those are the ways in which I shave. Um, saves a little bit of money, really even a lot of money perhaps. And I thought you might find it interesting. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. All right, goodbye.